welcome back. Alright, today we're going to be going over the new update. Before we do, uh, not very many of you have been putting your in-game name and um, server in the comments below. So if you want to be entered into the drawing at the end of the month, please do that. Alright, let's get into the new update. So we have the scholarly outfit. It's like a schoolboy, schoolgirl outfit and the emote that comes with it is kind of like um, being in the library. Uh, I like the Halloween touch they added by adding a pumpkin on the bookcase. That's pretty cool. So if you guys are wanting the new outfit, it's in the mall right now. And then, yeah, that's it for that. And then we have a daily sign-in again. Um, it gives us one furniture, um, a free backpack if you like collecting the backpacks, and a free spray paint. But you have to be uh, make sure that you log in on those days to get those. And then we have the fall gifts where we can do extra quests in order to get some extra bonuses, um, coins to get some of the stuff from the market. And then we have the writing contest back. And then the school sale is pretty much the stuff and the bathroom set that they added before the new update. And then we have the lucky hunt is back. It's got the workout outfit in green and a spray can. And then, of course, we have the double training, like always. And then the market has, like, an angel kind of theme going on this week. Um, so you can get, like, sky ceiling paper, sky wallpaper. That's pretty cool. And then it has a box that has a harp and wings. The wings are pretty cool if that's something you want to go for. They go to the, they attach to the ceiling, and then you can actually fly around with them. So that's pretty cool and interesting. So if that's something you're interested in, you can go for that. So let's get into the rest of the update. So they finally added to where we can auto accept Snow Highlands and Mouse Walk. Um, Snow Highlands, I believe you have to be level 30 or 35 in order to auto-complete. And Mouse Swamp, you have to be level 60. So, if you're those levels, you can now auto-accept those maps. So, you can get, um, Fall Forest, Mouse, Fall Forest, Sandcastle, Snow Highlands, and Mouse Swamp all done really quickly and then worry about the rest of the maps if you do all the dailies so it'll take a little less time to get those done now so that's awesome all right so let's get into some of the other stuff they added this update so they have risen the percentage to get knobs and light muzzles and but they also on top of doing that they added it to where we can sell them on the market. So we can only sell light muzzles, knobs, and the heavy muzzles on the market. We can't sell anything else. Uh, so if you want to buy them, you can now. Um, well, if you can find them for sale. Alright, so next they added some new things for your cohabitation. Uh, it says that they made it a little, they improved the way to end your cohabitation. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. Um, but if you're trying to end it now, it's supposed to be a little easier to do so. Um, and on top of that, they added a picture frame to where you can put pictures that you take on your wall. I was highly disappointed with the picture frame. Uh, you can put your pictures on there, but it doesn't give you the option to move the picture around, so you cannot adjust how the picture looks, which causes most of your pictures, it cuts off your head. And that's really disappointing because I know when I heard that they were going to add um, 
picture frames where we can actually post our own pictures on our walls. I was excited. And now I have a picture of myself on my wall with my head cut off. <laughs> and there's nothing I do. You can't even change the picture. I tried putting it back in my inventory and then putting it back on the wall. It did nothing. There is no option to change it. No option to fix it. So just stuck with this picture of myself with my head cut off. So let's hope that in a future update they fix this and make it to where we can change it, uh, move it around, fix it, something. Because otherwise this is a, it's a good idea, but it was a fail. Okay, so another thing that they added to for the cohabitation thing is they made it to where every day they're going to send you this thing that kind of looks like a pile of grain to make a bento box of love. So you go to the grill like you make food, um, but there is no ingredients that you're actually supposed to add to this. Like you can just add whatever you want and it's going to make the same thing. Um, I don't know if the quality is better, if you make it with better quality food. Um, but so you make it on the grill and when you click on it, it doesn't send it to your backpack. It automatically mails it to your cohab. So that's neat. Uh, also the food gives you like combat boost. So that helps you out a lot. So if you have cohab, I'd be sending it to them every day. On top of that, we got cool new boards in our manor with some awesome new little things like like boxes. So pretty much you spend gold for a certain amount of boxes to be put on your board. So when people come to your manor and like your board, they get a free gift. So it kind of gives people more of an incentive to go to your manor and like your board and leave you nice comments if they want to. Uh, then they added a journal. Um, I wasn't able to write anything because I think you have to do a cohab quest before you're able to write on this and I did not do that so pretty much you do your cohab quests like doing your love tree or any of the other stuff that you would do and then you can go write on a journal um, doing this every day goes towards journal gift quests so you get extra bonus gifts for doing this every day which is cool and the gifts seem to go up for a year anniversary and on the year anniversary you actually get a new title so the new title is called never change and you get that for completing a whole year of journaling with your cohab okay so I went and visited the mayor of excelled uh, manor which she has a pretty awesome manor so if you want to go check it out I would definitely recommend it and they're really nice over there too so it's a great camp um, but I went and liked her board she had the gifts on there so it shows you that when you like um, somebody's board that you get this little blue gift that gives you um, random gifts. I got roses. I don't know if you get roses every time. I think I got roses both times I liked a manor. So maybe. But even so, even if you just get roses every time, you can use that for bringing your friendliness up with somebody. Next they added um, a thing where last update they added to where your dogs could ride on the back of your motorcycles. And this update they added to where you don't have to put them on your bike. They are supposed to be able to get on there by yourself. It took me a minute to realize um, how this is done. I thought, oh, let me just get on my bike and the dog is going to jump on. I was doing it in Hope 101 and this guy came up and I wasn't really sure what he wanted. And I was like, oh, this is embarrassing. So I waved at him and he immediately was like, see ya like bye
I guess he wanted to check out my bike, and when I put it away, he was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> so I went back to camp to try to figure out how to get the dog to jump on the back of my bike. And I realized that I probably had to put it on in the settings like you do to allow other people to get on and ride your bike. And I was right. Pet enters the vehicle. Um, though I still was not able to get the dog to jump on my bike when I was trying to. Um, he did jump on my bike when I was on one of the maps. And I was not recording then. So uh, he, they do get on the bike. It's just they don't do it all the time. So, but that's pretty cool. The thing that they added to the game is that now above the enemy's um, head with their life bar, it shows different icons um, for the different things. So the blue fist thing, I think that means like human type monsters. Uh, the yellow one with the bone it shows up on all animals. And then like the normal basic zombies is like the little red dot thing. So, there might be more than just those categories, but that's all I've seen so far. And, oh, yes, I ran into Tazzy on the map, so I had to say hi to her. If you guys see me on the map, you guys can feel free to say hi to me, too. Um, I like to do the firework thing, which is my thing for saying hi. So... You guys can feel free to come say hi to me. I'm always up for making new friends. So I had to put this in here because when I was doing um, the part with the animals, I ran into her and I never ran into anybody that I know. So that was fun. So like I said, if you guys see me on the map, feel free to say hi. I'm always up to saying hi. And after... I said hi to her. I went back to finding the rest of the monsters on this map for the little icon things. Um, it does say that in the index that it will show you what each of the icons mean. I looked in the index. Um, I didn't see anything in there that explained what it is. Maybe I missed it. Uh, maybe they haven't added it yet. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'll probably check again. But I didn't see it in there, so I couldn't add that in this video. But um, maybe they're going to add something later to where we'll need to know, like, the different types. But it is pretty nifty. Like, maybe certain guns can go div against certain zombies or something. Maybe. Who knows? Okay, and the next part um, they added is they added another... Um, Part to Bounty Hunt. The last one they added was Nightmare Mode, and now we have Extreme Mode, which is for level 80 and above. Um, I'm level 80, and <laughs> I tried to do it solo. I already knew going in that I was gonna get uh, destroyed. That I wasn't going to be able to beat him, but I wanted to show you guys the boss for Extreme Mode. Um, it did say that there was going to be three other new bosses um, for this mode. I don't know if it's for this mode or if it's for all of them. Um, so that's something fun to check out. Uh, but like I said, I got my... Yeah, it handed to me. Uh, I barely did any damage whatsoever by myself. But I wanted to do it by myself, um, just for this video, just to show you guys um, what was going on. Because I didn't have any of my normal peeps on. Um, and sometimes when you do it with randoms, um, they might say something in the chat or something. But um, if you guys ever want to do Stronghold or something with me, I'm up for helping you guys too so feel free to join any of my teams if you see me blasting it up on world chat in redwood server 
Alright, so before I end this video, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, nobody has really entered the contest except for like a couple people. Uh, so if you want to enter, make sure that you're commenting below with your in-game name and your server. It has to be a NA server because I don't have any accounts on the C server and um, I might be able to get on the C server eventually, but right now I'm not. So, um, I apologize for that, but for all of my peeps following me that are on the NA server, go ahead and enter. Um, I'd love to see your guys' comments below. So, that includes this video. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, also, if you have anything that you want me to cover or any questions about anything, please leave them in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.